James Barry, born Margaret Ann Bulkley, or Bulkley, C. 1789, 25 July 1865, was a military surgeon in the British Army. Originally from the city of Cork in Ireland, Barry obtained a medical degree from the University of Edinburgh Medical School, then served first in Cape Town, South Africa, and subsequently in many parts of the British Empire. Before retirement, Barry had risen to the rank of Inspector General, equivalent to Brigadier, in charge of military hospitals, the second highest medical office in the British Army. Barry not only improved conditions for wounded soldiers, but also the conditions of the native inhabitants, and performed the first recorded caesarean section by a European in Africa in which both the mother and child survived the operation. Although Barry's entire adult life was lived as a man, Barry was named Margaret Ann at birth and was known as female in childhood. Barry lived as a man in both public and private life, at least in part in order to be accepted as a university student and to pursue a career as a surgeon. Barry's anatomy became known to the public and to military colleagues only after a post-mortem examination. Early life. Other than some personal correspondence, there are few sources of information about the non-military parts of Barry's life. The scant available evidence provides a skeleton onto which a great deal of myth and speculation has been added by various commentators. In his detailed research into Barry's early life, Michael Dupreez states that Barry was born in Cork in 1789, a birth date based on Mrs. Bulkley's description of her child being 15 years old in a letter dated 14 January 1805. Various other sources give birth dates of 1792, 1795, and 1799, but these dates are almost certainly the result of Barry later lying on official documents to aid passing as a man. Barry was the second child born to Jeremiah and Mary Anna Bulkley and was given the name Margaret Annie. Mary Anna Bulkley was the sister of James Barry, a celebrated Irish artist and professor of painting at London's Royal Academy. Jeremiah Bulkley ran the Way House in Merchant's Key, Cork. However, anti-Catholic sentiment led to his dismissal from this post. This and subsequent financial mismanagement left Mary Ann and Barry without the support of either Jeremiah Bulkley, whose debts led to him spending time in the Marshalsea Debtors' Prison in Dublin, or later the Bulkley's married son, John. A third child appeared in the Bulkley family and was named Juliana. Although presented as being Barry's sister, it has been speculated that Juliana Bulkley was Barry's daughter as a result of childhood sexual assault, as after Barry's death, the charwoman who discovered Barry's sex when laying out the body reported that pregnancy stretch marks were present. However, there is no tangible historical evidence to support this theory of childhood sexual assault and a number of circumstances, such as Barry's father ejecting his wife and child from their home around the period in question, and a later letter informing his wife that he had made up his mind to forgive, make this appear unlikely. Given these circumstances, it has been suggested that, if anything, Juliana may have been the result of an affair on the part of Barry's mother. Mother and child left Ireland for London in 1804, when Barry would have been about 15 years old, to apply to Mary Ann Bulkley's brother, James Barry R.A., for help. Professor Barry rejected them, having been estranged from his sister for more than 30 years. However, his death in 1806 and the resulting inheritance, as well as assistance from some of the artist's former friends, allowed Mrs. Bulkley and her teenager a degree of comfort. The teenage Barry was educated with the prospect of becoming a tutor, but given a lack of evidence of any work history, the Bulkleys appear to have struggled to find Barry any suitable tutoring positions. A plan appears to have developed between Barry, Mary Ann Bulkley, and her late brother's influential liberal-minded friends, General Francisco de Miranda, Edward Fryer, who had become young Barry's personal tutor, and Daniel Reardon, the family's solicitor, to enable Barry to enter medical school. The University of Edinburgh was chosen, and Mary Ann and Barry boarded a Leith smack on 30 November 1809. 
Margaret Ann Bulkley then became James Barry, nephew of the late James Barry R.A., and remained known as such for the next 56 years. In a letter to Daniel Reardon, sent on 14th of December, Barry asked for any letters addressed to Margaret Bulkley to be forwarded to Mary Ann Bulkley, whom Barry now refers to as my aunt, and mentions that it was very useful for Mrs. Bulkley, my aunt, to have a gentleman to take care of her on board ship and to have one in a strange country. Although the letter was signed James Barry, the solicitor indiscreetly wrote on the back of the envelope, Miss Bulkley, 14th December. This crucial piece of evidence was the one which enabled researchers to finally confirm that Margaret Bulkley and James Barry were one and the same. Arriving in Edinburgh in November 1809, Barry began studies at the medical school as a literary and medical student. Barry's short stature, unbroken voice, delicate features, and smooth skin led many to suspect that Barry was a young boy not past puberty and the University Senate initially attempted to block Barry's application for the final examinations due to this apparent youth. However, the Earl of Buchan, a friend of Friar and Barry's late namesake, persuaded the Senate to relent and Barry qualified Medicini Doctor, MD, in 1812. Barry then moved to London, signing up for the autumn course 1812-1813 as a pupil of the United Hospitals of Guise and St. Thomas's, whose teachers included Henry Klein and celebrated surgeon Astley Cooper. On 2 July 1813, Barry successfully passed the examination of the Royal College of Surgeons of England. 